y'all my loves thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this video is going to be my version of a very easy natural five minute makeup look so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so before we get into the video i just want to introduce myself if you are new here i am bridget on this channel i do skincare makeup sprinkled in with a little bit of lifestyle so if that's your cup of tea please consider subscribing to my channel i'd love to have you join the family now let's get into it everybody has their own version of a five minute makeup look and everybody's is different these are my steps that i like to go through i'm just going to talk and have a double screen come in and show you as i'm actually applying the makeup but all right so first things first and it's pretty basic for me but if i don't do it it's going to take me that much longer to complete a simple look and that's starting off with a clean station and also starting off with absolutely everything <laughs> that i'm gonna need because if i apply my makeup in the bathroom and if i have something somewhere else i have to go look for it or if it's in my purse so just start off with everything that you're going to need trust me that will make the process go that much faster also when you're trying to get a really quick natural look done you want to use as little makeup as possible so this is my five minute look that i have on now and you probably already noticed something about it i don't have on the heavy eyebrows i don't have on a big highlight i did highlight just a little bit i don't have the eyelashes on i don't have the this the this the that but i still look put together and that's the key we want to look put together and natural at the same time. So we wanna use as little makeup as possible. And believe it or not, that's something that can cut down on the uh, makeup look process. Now, you may notice that I don't have on lashes. And uh, for me, it took me longer to try to coat my little uh, natural lashes and still not come up with anything versus putting on lashes. Now, if you are a lash person, if you do want something quick, I would suggest using the glam magnetic lashes uh, the eyeliner you just put it on and then you pop the lashes on um, it's really simple and they actually stay on that you don't have to worry about them falling off blowing off whatever they're gonna be there so I didn't apply them in this video because I wanted to demonstrate a five minute look so I'm just gonna go ahead and start and just kind of walk you all through the steps and explain what I did all right so for my foundation I did use the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. I used a dark shade to just kind of complete uh, the perimeter in my nose. And as you can see, I used a very small amount. I did not go in with a lot. And then I went ahead and used my sponge and blend it out. After that, I did go in with a lighter shade in the foundation. And I just put that in the areas where I normally highlight. If after you use this step and you still feel as though you need more coverage under your eye, by all means, go ahead and apply the concealer where you need it. I went ahead and used my Lancome concealer just to give me more coverage because I could still see uh, the darkness coming through under my eyes. So I went ahead and as you can see, I used my sponge and I went ahead and blended that out. So if you do have sparse eyebrows like myself, what I would recommend is before you even start, go ahead and pull them or you know just kind of shaping them up with a razor do whatever you need to do and then to avoid the hassle of having to fill them in with a pencil or uh, a brow pomade or whatever go ahead and highlight uh, with your concealer right up under your eyes like I did and the contrast from the small amount of eyebrow space that you have paired with the lighter concealer will make it appear as though you've actually done more than you really did I like to do that and as you can see it only takes a second you just kind of carve them out and then blend it out and then you're finished after that go in with a translucent powder and just add a small amount get you a fluffy brush and just put it in all the places where you highlight it just add a light wash of it and then you can take your favorite bronzer go in and apply your bronzer everywhere you need 
need to. And also what I like to do is take a very fluffy uh, blending eyeshadow brush and take my bronzer and lightly come in right there on the inner part of my eye and go up to my brow to contour a little bit. I don't bring the bronzer all the way down um, when I'm trying to get a natural look. I only do this just to add a little bit more dimension. It's just a quick, easy thing to do. And then after that, I take my bronzer and I go ahead and put it in my crease just to add a little bit more depth and dimension. It's just a real quick, easy way instead of grabbing an eyeshadow palette and just trying to figure out something to do. You can use your bronzer um, in that regard. I did go in with my pressed powder and just lightly applied the powder, uh, mainly in places where the bronzer and the translucent powder uh, didn't hit. A light, light wash of that. And mind you, when you're doing your application, um, if you do have problem areas, go ahead and touch those up before you start with a concealer that actually matches your skin tone that way you don't have to do your whole face um, you can just cover up the problem areas and go from there so after that I do apply my eyeliner and I just use a matte eyeliner from Sephora a very very thin line very close to my lash line and after that I go in with a mascara and I put it on the upper lashes as well as the lower lashes I tried to do a couple of coats but that's as much as my um, lashes will do even if I go and buy the most expensive mascara I've tried them all before and add double coats after, but they're just so my lashes are just so tiny they've just been like that forever and then after that I go in with my nude lipstick now you can use a lip liner if you want to. Lip liners for me take a bit of time because that is a process that requires precision and I gotta, I'm in a rush. I'm doing a five minute look. I gotta get it done. So I just popped on a nude lipstick and that's it. I'm out the door. So that completes my five minute look. Let me know if you try any of these steps. If you use a different process, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches